Hello everyone, this is my Julicon 2021 poster presentation for Dr. Doc Strings. Diagnose your missing Doc Strings in a package. The takeaway for this poster will be that if you can get three hacks in trench coat, you should make it a package and publish it. I basically want to nerd snipe the um, editor's people into integrating some of this into uh, VS Code or something else. But the point is, we can make working or managing your Doc Strings a lot easier from Julia. What do I mean? If you want, you can check out the, the link here, but we're going to go straight into a demo so that I can show you the hacks that make Dr. Docstrings work and motivate the examples. Let's say that you're trying to use linear algebra and you want to figure out how QR works. So unfortunately, there's no examples here. So what do we do? We fire up our trusty REPL and then we use uh, Dr. Docstrings, right? So you load, you add it via your standard package manager. And then there's, I'm going to tell you the three hacks that allow for Dr. Docstrings to work. The first one is that there's a, actually a file that contains all of your REPL history. This is where mine is, right? So these are the last 10, 10 lines that I've used. It's for using, you can tell that there's something about the package manager. I was using CUDA or something. I don't really know. And then, so that's one way to do it. But what I really want to know is why is it that there's a doc string that doesn't work there? So you can extract these, um, you can extract the doc strings and then use regular expressions to check for the word examples from within these. And there's just a little bunch of helper functions that can help you identify that. So now that you know that QR does not have an, an example, what you should do is try to come up with an example, right? So this is how I did it. I just labeled what I needed. And then I said, instead of add QR, I did fix docs, right? And so what's really cool is that I can choose a template for my doc string, right? Let's just go with a basic, basic template. And then I can choose, I can pick my REPL history that will lead me to what was useful, right? So I'm just going to say it's this one. And then it will copy that item into my clipboard and then it will launch me into the editor straight where I want to paste it. So if I go here, then I can uh, paste a doc string that's been templated so that it works the way that I want it to, right? It has this standard, I can override the signature and all this stuff. And that's not the important bit. The important bit is that there's automation that can go with establishing doc strings for your package. And that's the and that's the general focus that I want for people to look out for when you're thinking about how we're enabling documentation across the Julie ecosystem is we can get tools to help us with the tedious manual task of making doc strings. And I think that's value added. Um, I'd like to see someone uh, from the IDE editor team uh, perhaps do this in a way less hacky way because this is definitely a hack, uh, three hacks in a trench code. And maybe we could do this also for performance. Like why not have automatically parsing of tests into um, a speed uh, uh, regressions or benchmark table? You know, we can automate a lot of uh, statistics and diagnoses of our packages. And we should ask more of our tools so that our life is easier from that. Thank you.